Hi, what's up, you guys? Welcome to the Sara Squad Studio. All right, so the much-awaited home tour is here. If you've been here for a while, you know that I have rented this space out. It's a two BHK that I'm sharing with my dog Fudge. We are living in this space as well as I'm going to create a lot of content here. That was the basic reason why I needed to rent this space out because I needed a dedicated space where I can just freely create content. So when we were designing this space, we were making sure that every corner in this home is an aesthetic corner where I can take photos or shoot videos and all of that. But also, I had to do everything under a budget. I was this one woman who was doing the entire 2 BHK up. So with that kept in mind, let me introduce you first to the living space, the living room area. Okay, so you enter the home from this door right here, and as soon as you enter, this is what you see in front of you that just catches the eye. I was very sure that I wanted one pop of color in this home. I'm a very bright person. I like colors and I enjoy yellow and blue. This is a combination that I always wanted in my home and this yellow chair right here is literally the center of this entire house. Your eyes just land here as soon as you go and we've also accentuated this corner with this neon sign that is made by Beyond Neon which is an Instagram page and they've done this up for us that says Sara Squad Studio which is the name of this space. So the basic aesthetic we followed in the living room was a modern, chic sort of a vibe. It's bright, it's colourful, but it's also not very loud and out there. I wanted something that goes well together, that is welcoming and cosy at the same time, but I also did not want to break my bank a lot because this space right here does not have an AC. So when my friends come over and all, we spend a lot of time over here. We love chilling in this area, which I initially thought would not be the case. So I'm happy that I did invest a little bit in this space. This chair was quite debatable. We went back and forth as to should we get a jula over here or what should we get for this space because it should just be a cozy nook where you know photos come good and stuff and I'm so glad that we went for the chair because this chair is literally like my throne. I love sitting here and having my morning cup of coffee. It's just my vibe. Love the plant that I have next to it as well. This chair I got custom made by a carpenter. I got it done from a showroom in the Kashili uh, market hall if you must have seen. So it was a different colour. We got it custom to the fabric that we wanted and once we did this chair that's when we chose the color of the wall which is a nice turquoise deep blue uh, this shade is pigeons crest from Asian paint so in front of the chair we have this very chic coffee table that I got from IKEA it's black and it has two layers which is perfect because in front of this we don't have a sofa we have an Indian sitting sort of a vibe the down level is also very welcoming to just keep storage keep your coffee mug and stuff on top of it I've accentuated it with this white quartz crystal this is such a beautiful piece. I absolutely love this crystal so much. I love looking at it like my eyes instantly go to this crystal. I have my favorite candle from Bath & Body Works at the moment which is Bourbon & Bow Ties and it's such a nice fragrance you guys. I love it. I was speaking about this on my Instagram stories and I have this rose gold vase which is also super chic and sleek and uh, this is also from Ikea and the roses on top are fake. They are from Crawford Market. So it's the blue rose vibe to tie the blue in the room together. Next to my yellow chair, I have my most favourite plant ever in this entire home. I wanted a real life fiddle leaf fig plant and this is a double branch fiddle leaf fig. So this plant I got from Plant People which is a local nursery over here. They have beautiful plants. If you're from this area, you should definitely check it out. And the planter that holds this plant is also from Plant People itself. Fiddle leaf fig is a little high maintenance but there's a lot of humidity in Bombay so I'm really really hoping this thrives and I try to take as much care of it. I've become a full-blown plant mom. I make notes and everything about these plants. So I take care as much as possible of them. The shelvings were already inbuilt in the home. I got it with the house. This lamp also came with the house so I did not touch all of that and I just accentuated the pieces with certain things I got from Ikea and Crawford Market. For curtains in the living room space, I went for sheer white curtains. White just ties the whole space together and sheer because the light in the hall is not that bright. So I didn't want to go for opaque curtains. Uh, the light over here gets blocked by the opposite building. So that's why sheer curtains do the job for me. They look really pretty and I got them from Crawford Market. You all must have seen this in the Crawford Market hall. If you haven't, I will link it on top for you. I really like this window space because it comes with nice marble tiling. Honestly, all of this is what sold the house to me in the first place because this area also becomes very welcoming for my friends to sit on and we chill so much on the window over here. I've 
just added a few succulents over here. These planters are from IKEA. I don't really know the names of the succulents, but these are low maintenance. I barely have to water them, so they just amp up the space a little bit. Next to this window, I've kept this bar cart from IKEA. It is a black trolley. Again, it ties well together with the coffee table. This was also built by my friends and I. We assembled it together. You must have seen this in the self-assembly vlog. If you haven't, again, I will link it on top for you. But this is super cool. Okay, it's, of course, when my friends are over, this will serve great because it's movable so we can keep food or drinks or whatever and just move it around the area in the living room but right now I'm just using this like as a storage space so I have my gardening equipment over here I have this very cute watering can that I got from IKEA which is so pretty again it goes with the blue vibe of the hall I initially thought that I will use this in the showpiece use karungi, but actually I use this to water my plants it's pretty useful and next to it I have these pieces from Crawford Market I have my mom's gond ke laddu that I filled in this glass jar that I got from a local bazaar so she keeps filling laddus and giving me because she wants me to stay healthy and I have this bath and body works candle over here I have my masks very essential candle again so just using this as a storage side corner for the seating in the living room space we went for this Indian seating sort of vibe which is very close to the ground because basically this is mere purane gadde mere niche wale ghar se mom dad ke ghar se I've just picked up the two old mattresses and we of course Faj wants to leave now because it's too hot over here but we went for mattresses because I did not want to invest in a sofa a turquoise blue sofa would have been perfect and I did think about it but it was too much money and honestly if I buy it now what if in the next house I'm bored of the turquoise blue right so then this was a perfect very budget friendly option if you have a rental home and we tied it together with this beautiful blue bed linen that I got from Ikea bed linen at Ikea is so beautiful and these cushions as well so these are also turquoise blue uh, in two different colors that I got from Ikea as well so they are acting like throw pillows and good like backrest and I got these as well this is made custom made for me by a macrame artist which is Vishwa Narwal I will leave her Instagram handle for you in the description box she gifted this to us for the home and there are two pieces like this so they go so well together this is so unique because I've not seen this color of macrame anywhere on the internet so this was so so beautiful and I'm really very grateful to her for sending this because it ties my space really well together and adds that extra comfort that I need to sit down on the floor out about her Anyway, and we have this throw blanket here that I got from IKEA as well and it's great when I just want to cuddle up in this space even though it's really hot over here right now. Next to this space, I've kept some pampas grass. Again, when you enter, this pampas just catches your eye and I've kept it in this grey vase that is from IKEA as well. Just to complete my living room space, I wanted to add this big frame of Aital Kursi. This is a dua that I very strongly believe in. Just to vibe with the aesthetic of the living room, I got this custom made in the black frame. Aital Kursi is a dua that I've been praying since a child. And it's something that just comes to my mind instantly the minute I exit my home. I Aital Kursi bolti hu. So I wanted Aital Kursi only in my hall. And it's right above my uh, seating area that I have going on. As we move along in the hall to the right of the door now, we have this TV unit which was already in in the home, I got it with the house of course. This was a semi-furnished space, so these small things have come with the house. With this, I don't have anything to do with it because I don't have to watch TV. I don't watch TV even though I have a big TV in my parents' home. I've never used it. So I didn't invest in a TV. What I got instead was a home theatre system. I got this massive JBL speaker with the woofer as well because I love listening to music. Music is literally blasting in my house all the time. This is something my parents just had lying around and they were not using it. So I was like, please, send it to me. So that's how I got a hold of this. Just to tie this space up, I've not done much. I've put this world map over here. The basic idea was to get some travel inspo. I was looking for things on Pinterest, but this size and this dimension was not getting good for me. So I went for this. And I've accentuated this space with this pink vase from IKEA with these white Crawford Market fake flowers and this lamp which my Masi Larissa had actually gifted to me on Christmas. So I've written get cozy, stay a while, which is very welcoming to everyone who comes here. And to the right of this, I have my Aquarius uh, photo frame that I actually initially placed in my studio room, but it was not going with the vibe when I started to film my videos. So I migrated the frame right over here, kept this cactus piece from Ikea, a Miniso candle burning. And this is also from Ikea, the entire situation. And my wall clock right here is this black wall clock again to vibe with the aesthetic of the hall. It's very sleek and I love it. It's massive and it's also from Ikea. So this living room is quite massive. It's an extended living room area 
idea that I have over here. So when I was decking this up now, I didn't want to do too much. I wanted this one blank white wall to stay as is because sometimes when we are shooting fashion content or you know even brands have these requirements for white plain backdrop. So this will serve perfectly for that. इसलिए मैंने इसको बिल्कुल छेड़ा नहीं है. कुछ भी नहीं किया ये दीवार पे वैसे की वैसी रखी है. So cozy this space up. I went for a bohemian aesthetic over here because honestly bohemian is not really my vibe, but it was very welcoming and I added a lot of like beige tones over here in this space. Firstly, I went for this fur bean bag. It's super comfortable. Honestly, ये तो हम hall में लेके जाके उधर बैठते हैं इसके साथ. And I added this uh, darker toned rug to just tie the space together. This darker toned rug I got from Amazon as well. So I wanted to play with the geometry in the area, which is why I went for the circular rug. And then I added macrame elements, which is this macrame cushions that I got from uh, Amazon. Both the cushion covers are from Amazon, and this macrame poof is also from Amazon. So these just serve as seating elements. We can. Just migrate this to the hall area when my friends come over. That's how we just sit and chill in that area. So, ये घर में ना मुझे एक चीज बिल्कुल नहीं पसंद थी वो थी ये लकड़े का टुकड़ा आई मीन ये क्या था आई नेवर अंडरस्टूड दिस बेसिकली हैज अ विंडो बिहाइंड इट्स अ डक दैट द ओनर ऑफ दिस हाउस इज ट्राई टू कवर अप विद दिस वुड इन पैनल इट ऑनेस्टली मेड नो सेंस एंड आई वॉज फॉर द लॉन्गेस्ट टाइम परप्लेक्स एज टू वॉट आई वॉन्ट टू डू विद दिस स्पेस बिकॉज एज सोन एज यू एंटर यू लुक एट दिस बट देर इज नो पर्पज टू इट सो वेन आई सॉ दिस ग्रिल फ्रेम एट आईकिया आई इंस्टेंटली वॉन्ट टू पुट इट ओवर ह्योर I screwed it to the wood and I added my personal best achievements and best moments of my life. I have the day Faj came into our lives. I have the day I held my nephew Ishan for the first time. The day I graduated from KEM. I have the day I got my title, my prefix, Dr. Sara Saroosh. I also have the day I got my silver play button and I crossed 100k subscribers. So all my special moments and also my very very special note from the YouTube team, which came when I won YouTube Next Up. So this was my graduation letter and. Graduation invite for next up. Additionally, to add the Bohemian touch, I added this rainbow macrame that also Vishwa gifted us. The same artist that did the turquoise blue pillows for us in the living room space, and I added this Friends poster that I got from the event fling in one of the PR boxes. I love Friends as a show, and here and there in my home, you'll always see Friends references. It had to be a reading nook slash bar area also, so I added uh, some elements of you know different sorts of mugs that I got at Crawford Market. This is a King in the North mug, and this is a. Fire and Blood Goblet both of them are Game of Thrones references so you know my favorite shows are getting referenced here and there this simple white unscented candle is from IKEA as well and then i have this which is also a very beautiful piece from IKEA this is a golden shelf it ties this golden grill very well together and i've added some of my books these are not all of my books of course i'm not much of a reader if you know me but i have been enjoying reading like inspirational novels so that's what i have i have michelle obama's autobiography i have priyanka chopra Oprah's autobiography, and I also have Jay Shetty's Think Like a Monk, and I have my For the Record Five Year Journal by Simba Lifestyle. I've accentuated the space with a little bit of IKEA here and there. This, this, everything else is from IKEA. This beer glass is very cool. It has this shaking beer thing, and it actually looks like real beer, not like I drink beer, but it looks cool and cute in this space. This is from Crawford Market, and this Friends Exposed is a game that I actually got in a subscriber mystery box. उसको कैसे खेलते हैं मुझे नहीं आता बट वो अच्छा लगता है तो दिस इज द रीडिंग नुक एरिया ऑल कंप्लीट जस्ट द राइट ऑफ माई सीटिंग एरिया विच आर बोहिमियन बेज वाइब टू एड सम वाइब्रेंट कलर आई वेंट फॉर सम नाइस रियल ग्रीन प्लांट दिस इज अ पीस लिली एंड दिस इज एन एंथोरियम लॉर्ड ऑफ यूर करेक्टेड मी ऑन इंस्टाग्राम मैन आई सेट बोथ वर पीस लिलीज लाइक आई सेट आई डोंट हैव मच नॉलेज अबाउट प्लांट्स बट आई नो फॉर अ फैक्ट दैट दे डोंट नीड अ लॉर्ड ऑफ ब्राइट लाइट विच इज वाई कैप दम इन साइड इन माई हाउस इधर कुछ भी डायरेक्ट सनलाइट नहीं आती है तो दे आर ब्लूमिंग क्वाइट वेल माई पीस लिलीज एक्चुअली हैव सो मनी न्यू बर्ड्स कमिंग विच makes me so happy i have them in bright planters as well this yellow planter and this everything i got from a local nursery so i can't really link it for you all and these tools i actually got from ikea which is so convenient because if my friends come over i can just put the plants down and we can use this tool for seating as well so that's great these tools are very inexpensive they are just 300 rupees much 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 cheaper than going for plant stands and everything those are really really expensive stuff and just to tie the whole macrame elements together i got this from Amazon, which is like a macrame hanging bookshelf. I've kept P.S. I love you and Good Vibes, Good Life by Vex King, and again this cactus sort of a, a showpiece thingy from IKEA.
Okay, so right opposite the reading nook, I have my kitchen over here. This is quite a spacious kitchen. No cooking happens over here yet. My nani is actually going to gift me a gas stove. So, after that, I will make some snacks. There are a lot of snacks in there. All this was already inbuilt, like furniture-wise. So, I filled it up with all sorts of dry fruits, healthy snacks, pasta, popcorn, muesli, coffee. Of course, lots of coffee. So, no one goes to my house, definitely not going to my house. This is a corner in my kitchen I'm super proud of because I love the crockery colors happening over here. All these glasses are from IKEA, mugs are all from different places. And I have this teacup set as well that I got from Crawford Market. Everything looks so good over here. So I really like keeping this area clean. Bartan mein khud hoti ho, okay? I, you all should be proud of me. I rose bartan hoti ho. On the opposite side, I have matka, old school matka. Ye pehli cheez thi jo main ghar mein likhe aaye thi because it's tradition, I guess, that you get matka sabse pehle. So isme pani nahi hai because ab main isme pani nahi bharti ho. I have my blender, I have my microwave and my fridge. Courtesy of my parents, they've gifted all of this to me so that my home is functional. I can make a lot of coffee. This is coffee banata hai mera microwave, but bahut achha hai. I love this microwave so much. And blender is also for my cold coffee. This is one of the most star-studded pieces in my kitchen. This black sleek Toshiba fridge that my dad actually chose and gifted to me. So it's filled only with like all sorts of ice creams and juices and milk and also a lot of fruits. Because my mom makes sure that my fridge is always stocked with fruits. So every time when I come down, I have a lot of fruits in my hand. That's why I have a lot of food. You will never go hungry if you come to my house. As we move along in the home, I have this corner which I created again for some photos and like adding an aesthetic element over here. This reel I got from IKEA. It's a photo frame sort of. It already has these waves on it and I have my favorite people over here. I have my friends, I have my family, I have Larissa, I have, she's also family. I have Fadju also last over there. So some of the most cutest photos are over here. And over here I have the lyrics to my most favorite song. If you've seen the painting vlog where we transformed this space initially, my my friend Disha actually painted this for me. These are the lyrics to the song these days. It's my most favorite song. I love listening to it. I'm very big on listening to music and vibing with music. So that's the reason I wanted like a music mural wall. It's actually inspired by Superwoman's wall which Mr. Kate did. So that's the inspiration I showed Disha and she duplicated it to the T. She's done a fab job over here. Here I just keep my yoga mat and dumbbells because the photos are not taking. So this is a good storage area for that. And I also have this tool over here which I've got from IKEA. It's the same white stool which was there but it's in red color so it will be really cool plus if somebody comes then we can just pull it out in the living room and make seating for them you see how I've thought of this space every place is getting to sit in my house as we move further along in the home let me first take you to my bedroom the smaller room in my home is what I've converted in my bedroom space. The smaller bedroom is quite small. It's very cozy and it's perfect to be a one-person bedroom. This was actually my bedroom in my parents' room as well. जिससे मैंने पूरी मतलब चार साल की YouTube journey इतने ही size के room में निकाली है. The vibe for the bedroom was more functional than aesthetic because इधर मैंने बिल्कुल भी shooting का idea रखा नहीं. I just wanted a room where I can come and die at the end of the day. I'm tired. I just want to sleep. So I've spent the minimal amount of money in doing this room up. I went with whatever I had and just did like a cut paste sort of thing. The first thing that we did was this lavender wall. I wanted lavender because I've never had a lavender room, wall, anything in my home ever. So this is so bright and refreshing to wake up to. This color is the shade Caprice from Asian Paints again. We did this wall ourselves. Ifra and I did this. You've seen this in the painting vlog. Sabse pehle to next to the door we have humare Fudge Maharaj ka bed. This is a bed I got from I want to say Petsy but I'm not very sure. Baazu mein uske thode toys पड़े जिसकी उसने हालत काफी बुरी करके रखी है and the first piece of furniture I have is this white office drawers that I got from IKEA they are very very comfortable to just store all my camera equipment mic so many other things that I have like tidbits chargers and all they all go in this set of like six drawers it is and it was very very affordable this is steel actually it's not wood so that's the reason it was super cheap but I love it it's white so it goes with the aesthetic of the room on top of this I have my weekly planner this is from the June shop Himadri actually gifted this to me in my mystery box so if you've seen that video you already know where this is from this cactus also is a fake cactus that came to me in a mystery box by my subscriber and then I have my mother Mary and Jesus
this right here watching over me as I sleep and I spray the rosary at night so I like to keep this right over here in front of me and I have this candle which is from the SJ merch which is Shreya Jain's merchandise next to that set of six drawers I have my wardrobe now this wardrobe is the Klepstad wardrobe from Ikea it's a three door wardrobe it holds almost all of my clothes I want to say my Indian clothes did not fit over here but my coffee western clothes are good wardrobe is quite good quality I mean in 15,000 you can't expect anything much more I got it customized as well I have some shelves put inside which were not initially a part of the wardrobe and I got these hooks also which I asked my carpenter to put so my carpenter and I built it together I've done a lot of the self assembly things because of the IKEA furniture on top of my wardrobe I've added this storage piece which is this cub storage from IKEA this is so good to store all your like anything you know because the loft is not on my cupboard ke upar. so this acts like a four loft situation I've kept my bed linen my extra towels and everything goes in this storage piece I actually want one more and I want to place it here or behind or like build it up because it's great to store a lot of things and it has a harder uh, base to it so it's not soft ke har cheez gir jayegi agar main nikal nahi gayi so it's very easy for me to access it as well next to it I've added some pieces that just add so much life and character to this room because this planter when it was not there this was looking so dead and white and just very plain and flat but just adding this four leaf thingy that I got from Ikea and this gold planter added so much life and character to this wardrobe I got this unicorn from Crawford Market as well and it just ties the space so well together because unicorn used to be my thing I used to use on Instagram all the time it was my emoji back in the day and it's also lavender so ties well with the wall this golden a dome thing I got from Ikea I was really hoping to keep something like a rose and all in it but abhi tak na mujhe kuch idea nahi aaya isme main kya rakhu to if you have any ideas leave them in the comment section and I will fill it up with that to abhi ke liye to ye khali hi rakha hai maine moving on we have this massive window in this space actually mera room jo niche wala bedroom tha usme itni badi window nahi thi because we had made a lot of storage side mein but ye window mujhe bahut pasand hai because subah mein kafi bright light comes in the room and I like light when I'm sleeping also I don't like my room to be pitch dark so that's the reason I went for sheer curtains these are also from Crawford market and for plants in this room I have all the plants that need like shaded light so I have my monstera I have my bonsai and I also have the prayer plant now for the bed in this room I lucked out because this home actually came with this bed which is a real good quality wood this is a very sturdy frame which is why I didn't want to get rid of it I did initially think I'll do something up and you know make it more aesthetic but then I just ditched the plan all together it's comfortable it's good quality wood and the mattress for this bed initially was very uncomfortable for me I'm 5'11 I'm very tall and you must have noticed in this home ye height mein mere liye ghar thoda sa short padta hai to ye bed ki mattress bhi mere liye thodi si short thi which is why after sleeping for one week in this home I had the most severe backache ever so I finally had to get the mattress from mere niche wala bedroom fitted on this bed which is slightly bigger as compared to the bed frame but like I said it's more functional than aesthetic so now this bed doesn't give me any backache and it's suited to my needs I went for grey bed linen I have two of these bed sheets from IKEA because they're super comfortable for Fudge and I both Fudge and I cuddle up and sleep in this space we have a lot of pillows going on we have this grey pillows these are also from IKEA and this white silk pillow I don't really know from where it is this is a subscriber gifted to me in the mystery box so I'll ask her and link it for you all because this silk pillow case is actually really really good and this cute pillow case which is now my new hugsy I hug this and sleep I don't hug Fudge he doesn't like to be hugged uh, this is also from IKEA it has this black and white heart to detail and ties really well together with my room on top of my bed frame i added these two golden frames these actually hold the phases of the moon this is the waxing gibbet and this is the waxing crescent and actually these are the birth moons of my parents so this is my mom and this is my dad i loved that idea i actually got inspiration for this from shreya jain's tattoo and i loved the idea so much that i wanted it in my bedroom so this way i have my parents here in my bedroom some part of them at least the left of the bed frame i added this mirror from ikea i went for a white mirror to just tie the room together and definitely i needed a mirror because i get ready in my bedroom the only disadvantage with this mirror is that it's not matched up to my height agar main apni height ka lagane jaati na to ye iske sath clash hota aur fir as a symmetrical room it wouldn't look good which is why i just uh, made the screw thoda sa niche to mujhe thoda jhuk ke selfies lene padte hain isme but theek hai kafi pretty lagta hai and the selfies in this are also bomb because the lavender wall reflects in them if you're an og subscriber you definitely recognize this side table this is from my old bedroom i said i didn't want to invest a lot in furniture for this room so i had an extra side table lying around so i just brought it upar this is black so it's very off putting for this room but theek hai it does the job it holds my pocket perfumes my lip balms all of my medicines rosary and what 
not. And नीचे वाले drawer में I have my heating pad, चश्मा and all of that. तो मेरा सामान आ जाता है इसमें On top I wanted a celestial element, so I went for this moon lamp right here. This lights up and looks so pretty. पच के सामने नहीं जलाना है उसको लगता है ये ball है उसके खेलने का But it looks really nice and does the job. And it also changes colors. So how cool is that? It can be used as backlighting for my photos. Lamp के सामने I've kept this Bath and Body Works candle, which is fresh cut lilacs. I honestly don't like this candle at all, which is why it's not. बर्निंग मेरा सर दुखता है कैंडल से बिकॉज इट्स वेरी फेमिन एंड फ्लोरल एंड आई डोंट एंजॉय फ्लोरल सेंस लाइक दिस सो आई एम एक्चुअली गोन गिव इट टू माई मॉम को शी लाइक इट बट अभी लैवेंडर एस्थेटिक के साथ मैच हो रहा है तो इसलिए मैंने रख दिया है इधर आई ऑर्डर इट ऑनलाइन विच इज वाई मिस्ट अप एंड इन फ्रंट ऑफ इट आई हैव माई एमथिस्ट By now you must have noticed the pattern that I do have a crystal in each of my rooms. I have a white quartz in the hall, a rose quartz in the studio room, and I have an amethyst in my bedroom. And amethyst actually goes really well with Aquarius energy, so I've kept it right in my bedroom on my bedside. I have my favorite body mist from Bath and Body Works, which is a thousand wishes. That I highly recommend. I love it. And I also have this uh, holy communion that my mom gifted me. That is my bedroom all complete. Let me know in the comments what you think about this bedroom. It's cozy, it's comfortable, it is my vibe. Uh, but I need to know your thoughts. So let me know in the comments. Also give me some ideas for that rose lamp right there. Opposite to the bedroom, I have the common bathroom. Somebody was asking my studio room ki why are the bathroom so short in height? That is because ये building में water problem है. तो इसलिए इधर ऊपर टाकी रखी है. तो height कम हो जाती है ये घर की. Just because of the टाकी issue. तो ये बाथरूम में तो फिर भी मुझे झुकना नहीं पड़ता है बट स्टूडियो रूम के बाथरूम में मुझे काफी झुक के जाना पड़ता है दिस बाथरूम इज एक्चुअली फजिस बाथरूम ही यूज इज टू पी सो वी विल नॉट इनवेड इट स्पेस राइट नेक्स्ट टू द स्मॉल बेडरूम वी हैव द मास्टर बेडरूम व्हिच इज द मास्टर रूम इन दिस होम व्हिच इज माय स्टूडियो रूम ऑफ कोर्स आई हैड टू मेक अ डेडिकेटेड वीडियो ऑन दिस व्हिच यू ऑल मस्ट हैव ऑलरेडी सीन इफ यू हैव इट आई विल लिंक इट फॉर यू ऑन टॉप सो दिस इज इट दिस इज वेयर आई सिट एंड फिल्म माय वीडियोस आई एडिट ओवर हियर आई वर्क एंड सिट इन दिस स्पेस द मोस्ट इनिशियली इट टुक मी अ वाइल टू गेट यूज्ड टू दिस स्पेस because i'm not used to having a dedicated office working space but i love this space a lot love how it's come together i'm not taking you all through the room because if you haven't seen the studio room tour you're really missing out on something because this room is where i put my heart soul and money in so check out that video as well i will link it for you on top this is where you'll be seeing most of my vlogs in the sara squad studios where you and i will be spending time together from now on let me know in the comments what you think about this space i've put all my heart soul money and all the reason as i had in making this space as beautiful comfy and cozy as i could if you liked today's video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up for today's video the sara squad shout out goes to all of you all you all are the reason i have this space to myself today you all are the reason i can do what i want to do and create the content i wish to create so thank you so much for your support on all my videos i love you guys so 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 much and i will see you in my next video bye guys Mwah.